you know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether it be the action or whether it's the supermarket, it's my free will. the last generations of homo sapiens because in the coming generations we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains <laughs> point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. Now hackable animals, 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 animals. <laughs> The vaccine the test, of will help <laughs> us, of course. It will make things, you know, m more manageable. <laughs> it's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste because a crisis is an opportunity to also do re good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to. But in a crisis, you see, we have no chance. So, 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 so let's do it. <laughs> Now, what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power, and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data.
attacking your fundamental rights or limiting your fundamental rights, and the Charter says that wrong, we're still going to go ahead and do it. Control of data might enable human elites to do something even more radical, digital dictators. <laughs> By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. We have to prepare for a more angry world and uh, how to prepare. And it needs to take the necessary action. That's why I fucking pod. In the coming decades, AI and biotechnology will give us godlike abilities to re engineer life and even to create completely new life. So we could look back in a hundred years and identify the coronavirus epidemic as the moment when a new regime of surveillance took over. <laughs> replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design. Intelligent design. Intelligent design. that allows a majority to override fundamental rights of a minority. The problem is more uh, boredom and how, what to do with them and how will they find some sense of meaning in life 
when they are basically meaningless, worthless. question in, in maybe in economics and politics of the coming decades will be what to do with all these useless people. now the experience of one crisis the environmental crisis the climate crisis could be a much bigger one 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 Vaccinations for illness that will never be in the 